Portugal is undoubtedly one of the best countries I've visited. It has a rich history, unique architectures, charming towns and cities, flavorful and appetizing foods, friendly locals, and remarkable scenic views. My husband is from Spain, so he promised me that we will go back to Portugal in the future and explore more places since we only had 12 days in this trip. I would like to share our detailed expenses of our Portugal trip, but keep in mind that this vacation took place in February 2020, just before the COVID-19 pandemic got worse and countries started to close their borders. We visited Portugal during the low season, so everything was much cheaper. The pros of visiting during the low season are prices are lower, crowds are thinner, and the weather is not too hot nor too cold. The con is some popular attractions may have shorter hours and availability. I divided our expenses into four categories. My husband and I prefer to save money and travel with less crowds, so we choose the low season. I made this vlog to help other people who want to travel like us. But if you choose to visit Portugal in other moment of the year, be sure to do a research about the prices and the weather. So here in Portugal, you have many tolls around the country. Sometimes just check because maybe it's the same distance or more or less the same distance, more or less the same time, and you can choose the road without the tolls. Avoid the tolls and save money. We also try to stay in the cheapest accommodations but with good reviews and preferably with breakfast included. If you need more information to prepare for your Portugal trip, you can watch our Portugal vlogs, link down below. Please watch until the end of this video so you will find out how much exactly is the total cost of our 12-day Portugal trip. opinion all of the accommodations we stayed at in this trip have an excellent value for money i 
I really love where we stayed at in Lisbon because it's right in the city center. Plus, it's cheaper than most of the hotels in the area. One of my favorite parts during our trips is food. We love to try different foods, but we always read reviews first and choose the good quality foods and not very expensive. Most of the time, we like to go where the locals eat and avoid touristy places. Portuguese foods are not very expensive compared to other European countries. They have huge servings too. If you want to know the names of the restaurants, you can check my Portugal vlogs, link down below. I would love to go back to Portugal just for their food alone. Don't miss our Portugal vlogs where you can find detailed information of the places that we visited. Although there is no entrance fee in Benadryl Cave, you need to rent a kayak in order to reach there. Some do the boat tours but they don't let you go down. We preferred to stay there and take this remarkable photo. We didn't spend more money for any entrance tickets in Algarve region because most of the sites are in nature. You only need to walk and enjoy the stunning views. visit some of the places that we previously planned in Porto because they were already closed so we really didn't spend much for the entrance fees By the time that we arrived in Lisbon, almost all of the museums and churches were already closed to the public. Only sites with open air were open, just like the St. George Castle.
It was a little disappointing not to visit some sites, but it will be a good reason to go back to Lisbon again. My disappointment didn't last since Lisbon has many stunning places that you can visit. I am now going to give you our total expenses, starting with transportation. Accommodation. Foods and snacks. And entrance tickets to museums and sites. A total of 1,872 euros I hope that this vlog will help you plan for your future trip in Portugal and if you like this video please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons until next time keep exploring Rain or shine.